Hey guys, welcome to my first video on this channel. Before we start up the video, I just wanted to go over some things. On this channel, I will be playing a variety of Nintendo campaign series, like Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda, just to name a few. And I'll start with the very first Mario game, uh, for instance, uh, Super Mario Brothers, and finish with their most recent, uh, I believe it's Super Mario Maker 2, because it has a campaign. I hope to be playing other game series as well, maybe not just Nintendo, maybe on the Xbox and PS4 and whatnot, but I thought let's start with Nintendo and start with Super Mario, because uh, he's their most memorable and iconic character to date. Um, and basically the point of this whole channel is just to play some games, relaxing and just having some fun, but for maybe you taking you down memory lane and you know enjoying something for the very first time, whatever it may be. I just hope to show you the whole the whole picture. Uh, I'll be 100%ing uh, every single game in the series of whichever I choose. In this case, Super Mario Brothers. So in Super Mario Brothers, I will be playing every single level and letting you see every single one of them. Uh, but I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to teleport to the last world and you know get it done in two seconds. Uh, I want you to see the full experience and show you how hard they really worked on the game. And, uh, yeah, and as another challenge, I thought, why not try it without gaming over as the way they intended the game to be played. So, we're gonna see if I can do this. It may be a long time of filming, but, um, hopefully it shouldn't be too long. Hopefully, uh, you'll get to see everything, and, uh, hopefully you enjoy. But, enough said. Let's start up with Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers, uh, made in 1985. Uh, let's just uh, see the loading screen real quick, just because I don't I don't think I've ever seen this before. Um, yeah, made in 1985. I believe yeah they had their 35th anniversary last year. It was very very exciting, very cool. Oh, I guess that's it. All right, uh, let's start up the game. Classic Mario. I love this uh, music. I love this uh, level as well. It's it's so memorable, you know. Uh, everybody knows this level. Uh, if, I mean, if you've played Mario before, you you could easily recognize this level. Um, yeah. Uh, I think the first time I ever played this game, I was like six or seven. And, um, we had an NES growing up. Uh, we didn't play it very often, uh, but we had it nonetheless. And, um, we had Duck Shooter, uh, what was it called? Duck Hunt, that's what it was. Duck Hunt and, uh, the Super Mario Brothers. And, uh, we usually played Duck Hunt just because it was so easy and so fun. Um... And every now and then, you know, you get bored of it. You'd be like, oh, let's play this other game. And I played it a couple times. Uh, but it, was, it wasn't really fun for me. It was really difficult. And uh, it was really easy to die. It, was, it felt impossible to beat as a kid. And, um, but as I, go, as I got older, I played more games, you know. Uh, gotten better at gaming. Um... I, I decided to come back to the game because I was like, I should really beat the very first Mario game. And I want to say that was like two, three years ago. It was, and playing it, it was very difficult. Uh, probably because I was just so used to playing the other Mario games. Because uh, this has different physics. If you've ever played this game, you would know. Uh, it's sort of difficult to control compared to the other ones. But you could, you could, it's not too hard to catch on. Um, it just took me a while because I'd never really played this game before <laughs> and I was uh, sort of young so oh no um so I played it and it was it was it was very difficult for me but I beat it and I was very proud of myself and uh well I won't spoil the ending uh but after that I just sort of gave up on it and I was like yeah I beat it why not uh I beat it you know why well, play it again uh, but then more recently, I was just thinking to myself this that wasn't really the way that they made you to beat it made it to beat You know, you're supposed to play it without gaming over. You're supposed to be really good at the game and um, 
Oh, dang it. There we go. Uh, they made it so that you, you're not supposed to game over at all. And it's a very, very hard feat to do uh, just, you know, by itself. Uh, but I just figured, well, I got a 100% it. I got it play all the levels and beat it even the more intended way because you could uh excuse me beat it with finding you know secret tunnels and stuff warp pipes that can take you to the end um but yeah so oh, dang it um so i just sort of thought to myself uh why not beat it the way they really really intended it to be beaten so here we are. Um, I'm playing it for the first time, trying to uh, without gaming over. Uh, it's it's not proving to be easy, uh, obviously. Um, I keep messing up, but yeah, two dash one in the books, baby. Um, yeah, so this is this is gonna be very exciting, and I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of clipping and cutting because I'm gonna game over quite a lot but I I will not give up until uh, I beat it I a hundred percent it and I get to see that final screen um, but yeah so look forward to beating this game without gaming over A lot of people say they don't like the water levels in any Mario game, or actually any game. I would agree in any game, I would not enjoy the water levels. But in this game specifically, it maybe because I played the, these levels so many times, but it's really not that bad. I feel like they're sort of underrated because they were adding a whole new level, you know, like. 1-1 but in the water you know there's it's new uh physics and stuff i thought i think it's really brilliant that they had that and it's sort of sad that it's so looked down upon people are like i hate that level it's the worst i'm so glad it's over i'll never play that again it's like well you got to look at where they're coming from they're trying to give you something to like engage you into the gameplay like they're trying to give you a challenge and you know you enjoy it after a while you like i like the challenge uh but a lot of people are like it's dumb because i keep dying to the same fish it's like well you just gotta work around it that's why it's so hard but yeah i think i think there are some levels some aspects of the mario series that are sort of uh overlooked and i think if you look at it properly, you can really appreciate it for what it was or is. Yeah. Um, what I've come to realize is they actually sort of replicate these levels. You see how like there's no fire bar right there? Um, and I think it's like the uh, number four castle. There's going to be fire bars where those boxes were. Um... So that's pretty interesting. Hey, let me just kill him real quick. Um, so that was pretty interesting because uh, they you sort of know the level and now they're just adding, making it a little bit harder. It actually is pretty hard uh, with all of the fire bars and stuff. But a uh, <laughs> onto World Three, I guess. Um, I guess this is like my first impression of this world. I mean, looking at it, you know, for the 50th time, uh, I guess it would be like Snow World, or maybe not Snow World. Um, maybe nighttime, like it's always night here or something. I don't, I don't really understand the difference in like the worlds and stuff because it just sort of feels like an endless um, array of levels until you get to the end and there's really no theme to all of them so I don't really understand why there are a bunch of different worlds but it was a good setup for their later games um, 
But yeah, I don't th I don't think the next level is like has a black background. There's nothing as satisfying as getting those fireworks at the end. <laughs> oh, we're not doing so bad. I haven't I haven't even died once. It always tends to be whenever I die, that's when it's like game over for me because somehow I always mess up right after that. I just keep dying to the same thing because I'm rushing now. I'm nervous. Um, but yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me this run. <laughs> it would be incredible if it didn't. Uh, I just always have to remember not to completely rush into everything. You know, you're trying to beat the level, um, but you don't really want to be foolish as well. Oh, actually, that level was also dark. Maybe there's a theme to World 3. Oh, wait, what? How have I never realized this? Okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said what I had said before about the levels <laughs> and the worlds. Disregard what I said. You know what? Yeah, this is a good idea. You know? They dark world or whatever they want to call it in this uh, game it's a pretty good idea look at them ahead of their game and on to the castle Yeah, I don't think you ever see this castle replicated because most of the boxes are actually filled in with fire bars. But this is not a bad castle. It's pretty nice and simple. I mean, it's nice for me, uh, but if people who want to challenge, it's, I guess, not the most amazing <laughs> thing. I appreciate everything I can get. level. I think this is, yeah, this is Lakitu's, of course it's Lakitu's first appearance. <laughs> I never thought that he dated back this far, like, all the way to the very first Mario game. You don't usually think of that as one of the original Mario, uh, minions. Because, you know, you get classic Piranhas, Koopas, uh, Goombas, and Buzzy Beetle, but you never really think about the, um, Lakitu. That's pretty interesting. Hey, we got the fireworks again. Ooh, five more coins to get a fifth life. And yes, I've played this uh, game enough times to know where all the warp pipes are. I know there's one in this level. I'm just choosing to avoid it. As I've said before. Uh, but I am going to use this little shortcut. Just to get to the end of the level. <laughs> there we go. And as you probably noticed, this isn't on the original NES. Uh, it's on the- No! Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, at least we got that extra life. Um, this isn't on the original NES. It's on the NES Classic. Um, which isn't a problem by any means. Um, and I'm not choosing to cheat with this one either. So, remember that. Um, here, let's see. How am I gonna... There we go. Um... Yes. Uh, the only reason why I couldn't do the NES uh, is because our NES is very old and so it chooses which games it wants to run and which ones it doesn't. And uh, I didn't really want to take that risk if I have a really great run and then it just chooses to uh, fritz up. So 
Yeah. I will say, though, they are giving me a lot of power-ups, which is really nice of them to do. You just gotta be good at the game to keep them. I feel like the the later you go in Mario games, the more complex they get. And although this is difficult, um, playing something like New Super Mario Brothers U, um, that one is just going to be, I think, a bit more long because there's going to be a lot of hidden levels, hidden secrets and stuff. Oh, wait. I'm going the wrong way. Um, so... I mean, I'm still getting my bit of platforming that I need, my practice, um, but until, like, I mess up, it's not really difficult. I feel like that's always the thing with this game. It's never like, oh, I'm really bad at this level. It's just that, oh, I messed up, and now I can never get back there again. <laughs> like, if I... Okay, wait. Let me focus real quick. I know I'm cheating, but I want this to be beaten. <laughs> um, I think another cool thing to notice is that uh, every time you kill Bowser uh, with fireballs, you get to see um, an enemy being defeated underneath it. And that's sort of funny because as a kid, I was like, why are there so many Bowsers? Um, but it's just... In that case, it was a spiny who was dressed up as Bowser, and I never realized that until, you know, playing this a couple times and, you know, beating Bowser. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty interesting, because I think the first one is like a Goomba, and the second one is a Buzzy Beetle, and the third one is like a Koopa Troopa or something. And then the fourth one, obviously, is a spiny. That was close. Uh, but yeah, a little, a little cool uh, Easter egg to see there. Okay, now the most upsetting thing about this game is the Hammer Brothers. If you've ever played this game, you will know how hard the Hammer Brothers are to kill. Uh, and if you don't have a Fire Flower power-up, then it, it becomes near impossible to not either take damage or die. Um, because they, I don't know, they just, they throw way too many hammers at once. And they do have, you know, like a, a chance for you to kill them, but it's so hard to do. Wait, let me see if I can get that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I'm glad I had a fire flower this this uh, level because I don't like having to go against that hammer brother. And look at that, five two in the books. See if you notice, this is uh, exactly like 1 3, only with bullet bills. Like, almost exactly. And I didn't even realize this until very recently, because, you know, of course I've had to be practicing for this video. Um, I didn't really notice that this is. I was, I was like playing 1 3, and I was like, you know, it just just trying to beat it and then I came across 5-3 and I was like didn't I just beat this level and then you know I played and I died and I played 1-3 again and I was like where are the bullet bills and I don't know why it took me so long to figure it out but it's it is really interesting that um that a lot of the levels are the same and this is like I think this is like 1-4 actually with more fire bars as I was saying before and possibly more uh, oh crap! No! I need to stop talking. <laughs> I 
I need to focus. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't go out like this. Oh no. It triggered the fire bar. Dang it. Okay, okay here we go. Move it or lose it. No! Oh, I was hoping to get it. No! Oh my goodness. Oh, this is what I was talking about. As soon as I mess up once, it's game over for me. Well, I'll be back 5-4. I'm taking you by storm. so close, Bowser. Give me some space. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. How did I do that? <laughs> he jumped at the perfect time. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I, I totally meant to do that. Yeah. Never mind. Discord what I just said. I need all the coins I can get now, sadly. After losing all those lives. <gasps> no! <sighs> it was all for naught. Alright, well. I'll see you in a bit. Would try and tell you that I tried to get a lot of lives for uh, 6-1. But you wouldn't believe me because I'm still at one life again. And I think I figured out my problem with not being able to beat this game is that it's 5-4's castle. So. This level isn't necessarily hard. You just have to remember to dodge everything. Alright. Okay. I think... If I can somehow pull this out of nowhere, I might be able to, I might be able to beat this game, but it's highly unlikely, so I wouldn't get your hopes up too high. <laughs> Not like I don't have a lot of trust in myself, but I just think this game is harder than I thought. And there are so many pipes in this uh, level, I can't ever remember which one leads to like, which one warps you to a different section of the level. So I'm just gonna keep going. But this is world six and it's not so bad. Actually, oh my gosh, this is what I told you. Okay, well, I'll see you again later at six two. Alright, well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Come back for the next episode to see if I can beat Super Mario Brothers without gaming over. I look forward to seeing you again. Happy painting, and God bless, my friend.